the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, easy to live with. But it's interesting that this is like this game of like, okay, let's look at watches. There's no real improvement in performance, right? I mean, they're beautiful, mm. and but I mean, the performance difference between now and ten years ago is not clear. Ye yeah, a mechanical watch. Right. Just, no, I mean it's just there's, a watch. There's artistry and right. there's technological complication. I mean, mm -hmm. it's is there's complication for the sake of complication. Right. So they'll have watches like to use a car example. Imagine a car. Okay, and from the outside, it looks roughly like a normal car, right? Four, four wheels and a driver's seat, right? It has one engine, and it has four transmissions coming off of that engine, all of which come back together to make it the car one-wheel drive. Mm. Right? Imagine that applied to a watch. <laughs> so it'll be like one main movement that goes out into four gear trains and then comes back into just an hour and a minute hand. Well, why would you sync up four gear trains when you could do the same thing with one? Right. And it's like, well, because we can. Right. It would be like building a car with two engines. Like, that's not smart, but you do it. Just be like, I built a fucking car with two engines. Unless you're talking about, like, the NSX engine where you have the front engines for yeah. the electric. And exactly, the exactly. But I think what I'm getting at is that with computers and with cars, those are the one thing that you expect an improvement every year. Yeah. Just that nobody's going to accept the old way. Like, no. you can't just build, unless you're a singer <clears throat> and you're making something custom. Well, that's that. The singer is what that example is what the mechanical watch kind of industry right. is. You know, they, they position it as a luxury item from a time gone by right. sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Whereas, actually, if you want to talk about innovation, this right here is a Grand Seiko, which has a movement called a spring drive movement in it, and it is one of the most advanced and unique mechanical movements available in a watch today. So this is a Seiko? It's a Grand Seiko. What's which the is, difference? So the difference is, uh, it's like, think about a... Like uh, a Lexus? Think about a Lexus, uh, a Seiko is a Lexus, not a Toyota. Right. This is a Lexus LFA. Oh, this okay. is a Grand Seiko is built in a different factory from the regular Seikos. It's built by hand, completely by hand, all hand finished, hand polished. Mm -hmm. It's built of exotic materials. It has a cool movement. Dude, you um, should sell watches. I have a watch podcast. It's called Watch and Listen. <laughs> it's on YouTube. <coughs> wow, but you it's see, beautiful. yeah, I mean, and I have what is called the display back on this, so you can see the the movement in the back and how high the the level mm. of finish is. Then oh. you've got sapphire and titanium, and um, so the spring drive movement is, uh, without getting crazy, crazy nerdy about it, is is actually a, a true innovation in mechanical watchmaking. So run the chronograph it's on the front, the top button. No, here. It's, Watch the, the sweep of the chronograph hand, the big second hand. Mm -hmm. You get a perfectly smooth sweep. The smoothest possible sweep that there could be. It is smooth. It is. It is. It is smooth. <laughs> How much is a watch like this worth? Around 10. Thousand? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. God. But it's... it's this watch, $300. What? Well, is that G-Shock? G-Shock. No, G-Shocks are the shit, dude. 300 bucks. G-Shocks are awesome. As far it's as like... a light uh, on it. Does that have a light? No, but it has. It, so. But it's polished so that it can see Mine it in the tells dark. You the date, motherfucker. Look, dude, G-Shocks are dope. <laughs> a G-Shock is a watch guy's tool watch, uh, like okay. highly functional, durable. Um, a G-Shock is a total watch guy's watch. You can get G-Shocks that are like five thousand dollars. You know what? Yeah, they have. Dude, Jamie, look up a five thousand dollars G-Shock watch. Oh, that's um that, that right he, there. Yeah. Hold that up. That's, that's John Jonathan Ward's. Ward's own design. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. It's amazing. Cool I think it's based on the Duesenberg. Yeah, Duesenberg gauge cluster. And Duesenberg. the watch is called the Doozy, and it's oh. it's got a complication on it called the jump hour complication. So the it's a basically just a black face, almost looks like a bathroom scale, and it's got two windows, hours on top, minutes on the bottom, and the minutes sweep by slowly, whereas the hours do not sweep by slowly. At 59 and 59 seconds, the hours click over right fast. Wow. So it's a jump hour as opposed to a slow moving hour. Now he designed the look or did he design the internals? Or? He designed the look, the face, the complications, 
and he worked with a Swiss watchmaker to design an actual unique movement to use for this watch. He designed the case and that's crazy. It is awesome. And that watch is 12 grand. And he's making it. 50 of them. I believe it. Yeah. He tried to use the face in that uh, Vanta Black shit. What is that? Vanta Black is the darkest the blackest black that has ever existed. Oh, I saw they painted a building with that shit. It looks shit. like it looks like a negative space. Dude, get a picture of Vanta Black. It doesn't look real. And it's the most black that 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 that's something painted in Vanta Black. Whoa. It's so black that it absorbs all light and you can't even Wait a see minute. anything. Can you paint a car in that? You could dun, except dun, in the dun. environmentally it's ex not it's not a good hey, thing. Hey, fuck the <laughs> penguins. Oh, whoever's going to die. <laughs> Apparently, I want to a me. nice black G wagon, <laughs> bro. You fucks. Bro, I need my G wagon. Vanta Black, Listen, bro. Vanta Black is so the this, See, this watch, watch here. Vanta Black has the Vanta has Vanta Black in it. Of course, it does. And it's you'll see it's ninety five thousand dollars. And the wow. Vanta Black is just the black background. When you said ninety five thousand dollars, my balls hurt. <laughs> they made my balls go like this. They went, <clears throat> bro. They got watches that are a million dollars. What? There's a million dollar. You can buy a million dollar watches right now. Three hundred bucks. G Shock. Look Dude, at that. there's a watch called a Jacob <laughs> Astronomia that is like wearing like a sapphire fishbowl on your fucking hand. I swear, it's the craziest shit you've ever seen. It's so ridiculous. It's like Liberace the oil oh sheik. Look at that. Oh my god, that is insane. Yeah, and oh, Jamie, top right picture there. See, this has a gold case. That's a sapphire oh. case. The whole thing is sapphire. What if you bump into something and it shatters on your hand? <laughs> That's so stupid. You're well, wearing a glass watch. It's not glass. It's sapphire. You Cinderella motherfucker. Dude, the whole case is milled from a block of oh, sapphire. The whole case can go fuck itself. <laughs> Seriously. It's a million Whoa. dollars? That, that, I, <laughs> you, deserve, you deserve that thing to break. That's crazy looking. It's hilarious, right? That's a million dollar watch. Right? Yeah. Earth is that. Yeah, what that's the Earth. The, Earth, the oh, planets are spinning around. They spin around. Yeah, okay, if you can I find a video of it Look moving, it's nuts. Look at the stars. Yeah. Oh, it's got like a Rolls. If you drove your Rolls Royce, it with would your match. million dollar watch, you'd be like, what? What? You could coordinate this guy with your Starfield ceiling. Dude, that is a small Earth. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And it's it literally has the continents in silver yeah. and then some blue star thing. What is the water made out of, you think? Um, it's got to be like it's, I, I have no shit. idea. Anodize something, but then there's a the diamond uh, sun on the other side. Oh my god! There's a ball, a diamond ball that spins <laughs> Some around. Some of them have different different uh, stuff on them too. That you know, that's just one baller. You have to be to be sporting a million dollar watch. Yeah, that one's got. Oh, a, let me check the that time. That one's got a central star. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me check the time on my million dollar motherfucking watch. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. Yeah. There's some rich people doing some really, really weird rich people things right now. That seems preposterous. That thing with all the diamonds the on the baguette bottom. baguette diamonds. Yeah, that's like some steampunk, futuristic, but ridiculousness. Like, it's, it's weird. It's even more so than, you know, cars. It's like, because a car, it's like, okay, you got a $1,000 car, $10,000 car, $100,000 car. But like, <gasps> yeah, when you zoom in really oh, close. That's, that's a computer version. That's not real. Oh, it's CGI, but that is pretty oh much what you god. get. Why See the astrological that? signs there? Oh my god. What is that the, the red made out of? That's like uh, amber or something? Sun. Oh, probably ruby. The sun's a ruby? It's probably oh my ruby. God. The sun's probably a, a yellow diamond. <sighs> <laughs> Motherfucker, that is incredible. Yeah. See, I don't get it, but I get it. I well, mean, I would you never must have been able to appreciate that someone is making a machine oh, that yeah. fits in a little fishbowl on your wrist. Look at that. And look, I mean, look, on top of the crazy artistry of this and the ridiculous price and the jewels and all that stuff, the mathematics of that machine work. That oh is God. not, that's not just like that for nothing. That does like moon phase, yeah. you know, the, what s astrological sign it is. There is a, a f an actual function. Look at that one with the dragon. The dragon in it. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> that looks like something that come out of a little kid's gumball machine. It's so crazy, right? Go scroll up to, that's amazing looking. Scroll up the, the other images. Images though that they had those three watches together. Look if at that. You look, ever... look how good those things look. I mean, that is that is a crazy thing to have on your arm. It's so crazy, right? That that's a million dollars. And if you see someone wearing one in person, it's it's big. It's it's like it's oh, like yeah. the size of you know that that <laughs> like Yeti a, lid. A coffee it's, mug on your hand. It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. 
There's job, really people are they're actually I mean you'd be shocked at mm-hmm. what people are doing with certain with machinery and what and mechanical watchmaking. I would be there's these it's like the fight against friction is the whole thing, right? You've got this tiny little spring and you need to get as much power out of it as possible. So they engineer these like micrograms of friction out of this stuff so they they that's the ur work i what think the fuck mm-hmm. is I think that? that's an ur work star trek shit. yeah and uh whoa that's pretty yeah i think what that's does the lid look when it's closed it looks like an a star trek communicator now how much does something like that go for let it's me probably guess like 50 guess. or 60 oh okay. sorry i was gonna guess I was going to guess higher. I was going to guess 75. I think you can get different versions of it that are don't hold me to the price. It's expensive. But what do you think it costs, Jamie? Take a guess. 75. Yeah, that's what I was saying. 75. The Let's top the top article should have it. The Hodinkee article usually has the price. If you scroll down to the bottom of that article, mm-hmm. it should have it. That's it closed right there. So you can read the time when it's closed. Oh, so okay. that on that watch it's <clears throat> 8 uh 27. Oh. Yeah. And what does it look like when it's closed? That's it. Go go up. That's closed right Yeah, there? that's closed. Yeah. yeah. And then that's another version. Oh, with so its... does it have different tops? Yeah. Oh. The clear top or the, <laughs> the or the metallic one. And then there's a carbon back. and That's a pretty watch. Yeah. It's pretty looking. If you scroll all the way down, it should say the price. No? 68000 68, mm. There you go. Fucking expensive. It's... There's some wild stuff. There's a company called HYT that is that makes watches that have a liquid that moves around and it tells you the time based on like almost like a thermometer. The liquid goes up to this level. Whoa. There's a watch by a company called Devon, D E V O N, that's a belt driven watch where you have like a series of conveyor belts on your wrist. What? Yeah, there's the HYT. So the green the green liquid goes around the dial. Oh. Yeah. It's like a nuclear ooze that like flows through the dial. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah. It, it changes depending upon the time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that that goo like it flows. Go back to the one with the green goo on the top left there. So <laughs> oh it, my it, God. it like fills up around the dial so and then it resets. So is that what a minute is? When it goes all the way around, yeah. is it a minute? Uh, an no, it's an hour, that's I believe. That's amazing. <laughs> it's awesome, right? That's amazing. So you look down and that's how you know where it is in the hour. Yeah, and then it had, a, it had a typical hour Ooh. hand. Yeah, and then one. this one, it flows around the skull. Dude. You know, how actually, much does something like that cost? A hundred grand or something. Jesus. Axel Rose is actually sponsored by them, believe it or not. He is. It works, right? It's on brand for him. I think yeah. this is about a hundred grand. So when you say sponsored, like what do they do? They get Axel to wear it he on just stage? Wear, yeah, he wears one. Yeah, I follow these dumb watch spotter Instagram accounts. Mm. And they, it's, it's, they sell for upwards of 50000 So I think it's I think it's more than that. Look at but, that. Yeah. 50 that to 75. Cross brother. Yeah. They're expensive, man. It's David Cross selling watches. <laughs> Two hundred eighty-five thousand. The H three, <laughs> P- particular ultra light high end model. Which one's that one? But it's there's Whoa. you know there's some materials in this stuff. They they use crazy uh, forged carbon there. Well, um, ninety-five grand used for a skull one. Yep. Ooh, let me see that. That's pretty. Yeah. Oh, they're real like crazy. That? I mean, it's you can get lost in this stuff. And I mean, what, the the machinery of it and the the what materials. What color do you think the the liquid is that goes around that fucker? I don't know. They may have a different picture with a different liquid. So that's how the minutes go. Yeah. And then there was an hour. That is so crazy. <laughs> Press that. Let's see so if there's see an animation. Works. Here's wow. the lick. Here's the the liquid going. It's so cool. That is fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> I just I love the fact that people are so creative. Yeah, they can, they can figure out how to do things like this on something like a watch. See, look at the <laughs> look at the red around. goo going around the skull. Ah, Isn't that awesome? Oh my god, I'm in love with it. It's so cool, That's right? It's amazing. <laughs> I'm in love with this. And then look, it, and then un- it, goes, it, it goes back, but it goes back quick. It goes back quick and resets. Oh wow! Yeah, and the eyes fill up when it yeah. goes back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Oh my god! It's some really next level. Like there's bellows and pumps, and it's like pumping like liquid around. Dude, right? I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea people were doing this. Dude, people are doing crazy things. That is fucking badass. Like on a more so that's really crazy. Like so, I have a watch that is called a perpetual calendar, which is like a traditional complicated watch. So it does day of the week, date of the month, month of the year, four digit year. Moon phase power reserve, okay, 
and the, the time, obviously, and it has all of those functions, and it you if you keep the watch running, you know, it's mechanical, you got to keep it wound up. If you keep it wound and running, it will be accurate for all of those things without needing any an adjustment for about 300 years. Whoa. Like leap years, how many days are in the month that you're in, like all of that shit. Yeah, I have IWC, perpetu uh, Big Pilot Perpetual That's, Calendar. See, this is and more it, of it's all what math. I like. I like a watch that looks like that, like a classic looking. Yeah, look up the Big watch. Pilot Perpetual Calendar. I like their watches, IWC. They make beautiful mm -hmm. watches. That like that right there to me, that's like a perfect looking watch. Yeah, yeah. I, I like normal looking big, shit. Yeah, Big Pilot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which it's, one is it? Orange hands down. Whoa. Down. Yeah, that's it. But go down one on the left, bottom left, or yeah, that's the one. Wow. So it does. It's got a lot going so that's on. That's the one there. that you have. That's the one I have. That's yeah. a beautiful watch. Yeah, and it's it's big. It's big and chunky and heavy. But you see, it's got four digit year and then the month at the at the six o'clock mark, day of the week and the second hand at the nine o'clock, and then the date and the power reserve at the three o'clock. And if you keep that running, that'll give you June third, two thousand and eighteen, Friday, you know whatever. Automatically, it knows all the math. <laughs> Hundreds of years. Wow. It's crazy, right? All you have to do is keep it running. Just keep it running. So you have to just put it in a perpetual watch machine? Yeah, or, or wear it. Or wear yeah. it. Yeah. Fortunately, I like wearing it, and it has an eight-day power reserve. So if I really? wear it one day out of every eight days, it's great. Oh, so it has a battery assist? No, no. The spring will keep going eight for days. eight days. Yeah, yeah, eight days. Whoa. Yeah, and then you see in the, the inner gauge at the three o'clock position, it says days Seven six five four three two one. Right. This one's dead. It's in the empty gauge, but normally it stays up by the d S in days when it's full. Wow. Yeah, and it shows you how much is left. This one, this watch what? has a has a fuel gauge as well. Let's you know. This how is much mechanical. Juice. Yeah. See, look right down here at the seven o'clock position. That watch has a fuel gauge as well. Oh, Very helpful. That's crazy. My favorite feature in mechanical watches is the fuel gauge. Is that an actual g fuel icon? It looks like one, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. It does kind of look like one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. So, watches. I have a podcast about all this called Watch and Listen. With a, I do it with a watchmaker who like takes shit apart. Cameron Weiss, he's the man. Watches are connected to like extreme materialism in a lot of people's eyes. Like they don't Totally. Look, yeah, it's one of those things totally. where people are like, "Oh god, you're into watches. Mm -hmm. Like you must be a dude." Totally. It's a fair argument. Yeah. Cuz watches are so are used as trophies and yep. flashy shit and But they're also cool. They're also cool. Yeah, it's like they're yeah, cool. I get it. That is true. I yeah. mean, it's the same thing I feel with cars. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, look, if you is every person who buys a you know, Ferrari La Ferrari is every one of those people a whole a douche? No, no. some are, and some are what percentage? the ultimate enthusiast. 75. 75? <laughs> no, I don't it know. It might be 50. No, it might be 50. Might it could be. be. You know, be there's, there's enthusiasts and there's douches in everything. In everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, those, there's a reason why those things are highly coveted because they're fucking amazing. Yeah. You know, that watch, I don't want a million dollar watch, but that watch is the shit. I would never wear it if I had it. Dude, if you're in Beverly Hills, go in the store. The Jacobs store in Beverly Hills. I don't want to get frisked. <laughs> you want to do the fucking TSA thing on yeah, you. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm sure. They must be like really worried about people it's, walking in that store. Yeah, you got to get buzzed in it. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs>